Hello everyone and welcome back to Justin Civil. In today's video, we are going to learn about the weight of 9SWG wire mesh used in Gavian fencing with a specific mesh dimension and compare with the existing norms. This is a Gavian box which has length, breadth and height. You can mention any specific and it is covered in GI wire mesh on all the faces. Steps to calculate are find the area and the perimeter of one mesh then in square meter then find the number of mesh in one square meter and the length in one square meter. Now once you know the length find the kg per meter of the wire using the diameter of the wire and multiply the perimeter and kg per meter you will get the weight in kg of one square meter now you have the area of the box and you can find the kg of wire used in the entire box we will see this step by step gi wire mesh is used in gavian box retaining wall uh, also used in fence first let us understand the scenario we have Gavian box with dimension 3 meter length, 1 meter width and 1 meter height. And the hexagonal mesh covers the box. The hexagonal mesh has opening 80 mm by 100 mm. And the GI wire is 9 SWG. 9 SWG when converted to mm becomes 3.658 mm diameter of the wire. Now we need to find the weight of the GI wire used. How much kg we need for this box? Let us find the area of mesh. So this hole is the wire. So for it has been zoomed for illustration purpose only. This is the diameter of wire. You can see these two blacks is the diameter of the wire and this yellow orange color is the center line of the wire diameter. Suppose if this is wire then we have this is the center line of the wire diameter. Now the inside opening is 80 mm by 100 mm and the size of wire is 9SWG that is 3.658 mm. This is the inside, outside and in between is the mid. Find the area and the perimeter of the wire. We need mid area and mid perimeter. So you can use AutoCAD or other software or formula to calculate the area of any shape. Here hexagonal mesh but you can use any shape. Simply find the area and perimeter of the mid section. Now let us find the number of mesh. We have the area of one mesh and perimeter of one mesh. When area converted to square meter, we have 0 0.00669823. Now using the unitary method, you can find the number of mesh. That is, one is divided by area of one mesh is equal to 149 number of mesh in one square meter. And we know the perimeter is 305 meter. Then, and for 149, we will have 0 0.305048 into 149. So you get 45.3 as the mesh in one square meter. In one square meter, we have 149 mesh, and for 49 mesh, we get 45.3 meter length of GI wire. Now we have the length of GI wire. We know the diameter of GI wire is equal to 3.658. Using the formula, D square is divided by 162.3. We get 0.082446 kg per meter. Now we found length of GI wire in one square meter in section 3 as 45.53. Now weight of GI wire in 1 square meter, when you multiply this length and kg per meter, you get the weight of GI wire in 1 square meter, 3.7543 kg in 1 square meter. 
Now find the area of this box surface area by 2 into LB, BH and HL and multiply the area with the found kg we get the total kg of the GI wire used in the box now compare it with the TUDBC norm which is 52.35 and by calculation we got 52.56 which is very near now compare with the other norms for different sizes of the box we have this kg as for the norms and this as calculated you can see the difference